You are going to need cardboard with plenty extra to cut, an X-Acto knife, some scissors, your reference photo, glue, pencil, and potentially paint. Remember that this project is all about layering. For starters, I would recommend using a pencil to block in any background shapes on your background piece of cardboard. In addition, I would use your X-Acto knife to score any hard edges you want to stay in your background. This means only cutting the top layer of the cardboard. For my background, I chose to simplify the forest instead of making every single tree and I wanted to abstract that background. I experimented with peeling off the top layer of the cardboard and it leaves this cool bumpy wavy texture behind. I chose to keep my log as the original background layer as well to help make it look more like a log instead of plain cardboard. I am carving in some definitive lines into the figure. My log also had some cool areas of bark and moss that I wanted to try and mimic the texture so I experimented with a wetting a thin layer of a cardboard and kind of crimpling that up to make a soft mossy texture as well as the drier moss. I took little shards of thin cardboard and pasted those onto the surface to create a textured collage on top of my flat log. To create a proper relief sculpture, it's all about the layering. We want that three-dimensional texture to be popping off of our low-profile picture. So in terms of layering, all I did was continue to cut out pieces and attach them on top of the surface of the picture. As you can see from the speed of this video, this is a time consuming process to create all of your pieces for layering. One technique that I employed often was I was trying to create my pieces 3D qualities at a more dramatic angle. So on the back of my pieces, I started cutting out pieces of cardboard at an angle so that they popped off the page a little bit more. Remember that patience is key. As you play, you're gonna learn how the cardboard works better. You are going to keep layering and adding more pieces, and as more pieces come together, the whole picture is going to come together.
your last optional step is to add hints of a limited color palette to make sure that your focal point stands out from the background. Cardboard is a little boring of a color and you might need a little push of a bright color to make sure that the item you're making really stands out and the viewer can understand what it is.